Hey everyone, Overkill here again for another video. And today we're going to take a look at the All Fun Toys Omega Shinron. This just released recently and I was super stoked to get it. There are two versions actually. One with the Dragon Balls in the chest and the other where he's got the Dragon Ball in his head. I don't know if it shows it on the back. Yeah, here's the alternate version here. The one we're opening up today has a Dragon Balls in the chest since the blue Dragon Balls. Pretty cool, he comes with those blue Dragon Balls as an alternate thing as well. And I was really stoked to get this guy. SH Vigorts hasn't come close to making yet. They've not really dipped into GT. So when I saw this go up for pre-order, it was a no-brainer for me. I did pick up both versions, but I went ahead and decided. I didn't know which one I wanted to open. Like, there was a debate, because I didn't, you know. But I decided to go for this one, mainly because of a little bit of crease on top. Nothing big, but that's just what I use to make my deciding factor to open it. But as we look at the box, you can see it does have a Mega Shinron here. I don't know if this is like a variant coloration or something of them that they're going to make in the future. I'm not really sure. But here we see the All Fun Toys logo. And up here it says, Chow Zing Long here, All Fun Toys. On the side, just shows a little bit about Omega Shinron. Has a Super Saiyan 4 Goku down here on the bottom. And on the opposite side, just shows some of the different poses. The top... Just shows a little bit more about it. The bottom, got some more poses. And then lastly on the back, I showed you already, but we'll take a longer look. And it does show this version of Omega Shinron, as well as the other. And it just shows super modeling, super action. This is sorta like a figure arts, but it's not a figure arts. This is my first from all fun toy, so I do not know how the quality is. So I'm hoping for something awesome. With that being said, let's take this guy out of the box and check him out. Here he is outside of his box in his clamshell. You can see that he does have the seven Dragon Balls and him. And that's what he comes with. No alternate hands or nothing, but that's cool. So we pop this off. Very reminiscent of like a statue. And what we'll do first is kind of take a look at the Dragon Balls inside. Here we have them, and first up, we do have the seven star ball. These are the blue Dragon Balls that you see featured with GT a lot. Here's the classic four star ball. Here we have the one star ball. Here is the two star ball. Here is the six star ball. And here we have the five star ball. And lastly should be the three star ball, yep. So we have all seven Dragon Balls and you can tell they will scale really well with the figure arts. That's a nice little addition to have with it. And you can tell that these are drastically different than the ones inside of his chest. You can still make out all the numbers in it, which is pretty cool. And first noticeable thing about this guy is he's really light. Sort of like a figureized figure. But doesn't feel as breakable as one would. He, he feels like he could be posed around a little bit without any problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the articulation and detail on them. First up on his face. Very good resemblance to him and GT. The spikes and stuff look really nice. Done a really good job. Just like I said, it's got the few little marks on them to make them look like a model overall. But nothing too bad. And his head... Looks like it would pop off if you do too much higher, but it'll look up about that high. Down about that low. And then he has articulation here on his back that allows for movement as well. If you look here. With the arms, he can go up about that high. And straight down as the upper bicep cut. Be careful how you're turning it because of the spikes here. He does have double jointed elbows. You can see the 
joint here. The hands, full articulation, full movement. These are articulated fingers here, which is a nice touch. We look at the Dragon Balls up close. Like I said, you can see all the stars inside. Nice sheen of blue here. And the type of ab crunch he has doesn't allow for much. You can look down maybe like so and back a little bit more. And he does have some side to side motion, but it kind of wants to go back in place once you push it to a certain point. You see he does have some nice little detailing here. And then as we go down to the legs, you can see it's similar to the arms. How he can pretty much do a split with no problem. It's not on a ball, it's just the way, and then it'll go back about that far on them and forward. But you could tell if you moved them too much that there'd be a lot of rubbing going on there. So watch out for that. We do have the upper thigh cut here, that's for full rotation. And then we have the double jointed knees made with the same type of hinge that's on the elbow and then the spike is inside of it as well down to the foot it does have some movement it's not wanting to move very well i think it's a little just a little stiff there we go it's got side to side it's on a little ball and he does have some toe articulation which is pretty cool and then the details on the leg, you see some of the muscles here. The coloration's really good. There is no bleeding on them, which is a good thing. So overall, I would rate this fairly high because they've done a really good job with it. What we'll do now is try to get them in a pretty cool pose and get our final thoughts. So the last thing everybody will want to know is a size comparison is this guy going to be worth it to add to my collection scale wise i know some people don't care but the vast majority of us do so i'd like to show you the two lines that this guy would most likely be going with anyway first we will look at the super saiyan 4 goku from dragon stars you can see it fits really well together really liking that and this is probably be the two that i'll have fighting each other and then lastly we will do Super Saiyan God Vegeta from SH Figure Arts. Once again, looks really well together. Maybe a little bit bigger, but Vegeta's a shorter character, so it still works out really nice. Um, hopefully, Figure Arts will give us some Super Saiyan 4s soon. That way we can get them with this because they look really nice. Because I think these companies, I like the work that they're doing. And I think they do really well with characters like this. You know, people that you would see, the Ginyu Force, Omega Shinron, Boo, some of those characters. I don't think some of their Saiyan works so great. That's just my opinion. If you like it, that's awesome. But that's just kind of my final thoughts here. I'll put them all together for you can see. But yeah, once again, guys, this was the All Fun Toys Omega Shinron. This is a new release. If you're on the fence about it, definitely check it out. Hopefully you can catch a good deal on it. The only cons I have is it's a little bit pricey. So if you're a really big Dragon Ball fan and you're wanting it, go for it. It's really nice. It's sturdier than it seems. So that's a great thing. And we don't really have this guy outside of like an Irwin or Jax type figure. So that's another good addition. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, I bid you all farewell. Peace.